Hey there everybody, my name is Total Beard. Welcome back to MotorStorm Pacific Rift. Today we're going to be completing four more races as per usual, starting off with the Earth Zone. Canaloa Bay, Breaker. It's an Eliminator race, rank 7 with the Big Rig. <laughs> we're going to have to do a lot of bullying here. Okay, I'm going to use the Atlas Arizona. I just, I love this thing. It's like my favorite big rig out of every big rig. All right. Oh, it's the evening theme too. This is the pretty thing on Kenaloa Bay. Look at this. Oh, and they're all small. Which means they're going to be fast. I'm going to do some bowling. Hey, look at that. There's a plane up there, like a crop duster plane. That's kind of cool. I think that's actually exclusive to the festival. It might be there every day on this theme, but it's the evening theme of Canaloa Bay. We can go check it out later if you'd like. Well, that was an absolute failure. <laughs> I was hoping to get a little hop there, and it, it just, I didn't. I stuck to the ground really well, which normally is a good thing. But not right now. It'll be alright, I'll catch up. Do some bulldozing. Teach him a couple lessons, no pun intended, being that this is a school bus. Okay. I know I got a couple of them right here. What's weird to me is that I think big rigs are actually a little easier to turn than monster trucks are. Like you would think it would be the opposite, especially being that monster trucks have four-wheel steering, and a big rig doesn't. But if you get going slow enough, a big rig can make just about any turn, whereas a monster truck kind of feels slidey. That's one thing I never really did like about monster trucks. But, yeah, maybe that's just me. And there absolutely is no comparison between the top end speed. A big rig is faster, hands down, than a monster truck. Okay. Oh, this is actually going pretty well for me here. All things considered. We see stock. It's going to be hard to catch that guy, though. He's taking the same route I am, unless I bulldoze him. Oh, never mind. I tipped off the end of that ramp. I'm out. There ain't no way. Oh, maybe, actually. But there is no way I catch this guy up at the front here. I'm going to have to do such a crazy line drive in order to catch this guy, and I just don't think I can pull it off here. Oh no, wait, what? How am I in first? How did, what happened to that guy? How did I just win that? That guy had me dead to rights. What just happened to him? Ah, whatever. <laughs> just roll with it, I guess. Okay, then whatever. After that last race, uh, next up we're doing Badlands, leader of the pack. It's just a race, two laps only, rank seven. Thank God, dude. Badlands is such a long track. So if you do three laps on that, you're looking at like seven or eight minutes of just driving around. It's like one of the original Monument Valley Motor Storm tracks. Like the Grizzly, three laps. It takes forever. Okay, I'm going to use the Molotov Drago with the black paint here. I just, I don't like the other two. I'm just going to use this one. Okay. <laughs> it's the evening theme here, too. We are winding down the festival. There aren't that many videos left of Pacific Rift's festivals. But boy, oh boy, we got a lot of monster trucks here. And I do believe somebody just got ran over. Oh, that might have been me. I might have been the person running them over. I just didn't even know. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I can't, Honestly, I couldn't tell you. Okay, so we got two minutes and 15 seconds a lap to make it on this course. I just wanted to see if we could run through that sign. I couldn't remember how stiff it was. Turns out it's pretty stinking stiff, but with semi-truck, you're fine. 
But I don't think you can make it through that with a rally car. Or a buggy, for that matter. <laughs> it's like a whole world of cinder cones, isn't it? This track. I'm doing the bad lad shortcut. <laughs> I made it, dude. Oh, man. It's been an absolute mad lad to make that with a semi, <laughs> especially as slow as I was going. That's funny. I actually don't know if that's faster with a semi than just going through the water at the bottom and holding down the boost. But I just like doing it because it's fun. I would wager it actually still is faster because it saves you the boost so you can use it right there where I did. One of them things where it might not be faster for that particular section, but it is faster overall because of like where you can use the boost instead. Of course, you are in the water though, so you might be able to chill on the boost right as you get to the end of the pool and end up at the end of the pool faster than if you had done the cut, but with the same amount of boost. And that might make it worth it. But boy, we made that in 2 minutes and 10 seconds with a pretty clean lap, so that timer's tight. Let's see what I can do with it here. I got 5 seconds to burn on this lap, because I gained it just now due to my slightly faster than 2 minutes and 15 seconds in the first lap. I made 2.10 on the first lap, so I have 5 seconds to mess with. So we'll try out that water cut. Also, there's a helicopter in the corner of the screen, the top left there for just a second. And again, I don't think that shows up in free play. I think they actually put those in just for the festival races. So I just thought that was interesting. Okay, let's try this out here. So if I slap down in here, right? I'm going to avoid that first water hole. And then I'm going to go like this. I don't know, man. This might be faster. And you chill out on the boost. And yeah, you see, you end up at just about the same amount of boost right here. But I think I made it here faster than with the cut. We'll be able to find out. So if I end this race at 4 minutes and 20 seconds, we'll know that that was at least the same speed. If it's less than that, then going through the water was faster. And if it's more than that, then going through the water was slightly slower. At least that's my best guesses. It's looking like it's going to be faster. Yeah, it's going to be way faster. Yeah, that water, that water cut with the big rig is way faster than doing the cut. That's funny. Huh. Huh. Well, anyway, we clean swept that with ease. So let's continue on. Oh, we got this speed ticket in the air zone for completing that as well. We'll do it next video. For the fire zone today, we have Paradise Beach Aftermath. Speed event with a monster truck. Well, let's go choose the monster truck. So I don't know if I've used the Lunar Tech Yeti on this series yet or not. I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. See how it goes. Okay, 50 checkpoints, 15 second finishing margin. That's pretty typical, okay. Okay. I will admit the monster trucks are quicker on the draw, like on the acceleration. They're quicker on the acceleration, but that's pretty much all they got going for them compared to a big rig. I don't know, they are kind of sticky, aren't they? Okay, let's put it like this. Monster trucks are a little squirrely. They're a little less predictable in the steering than a big rig. Like, see how jumpy it is? Like, that's the shortest distance you can move it right there. It's real twitchy. But a big rig is more consistent. 
Like right there, see how far you slide? I had to ram right there to even make that. And with the big rig, of course, you're going slower with the big rig right there. Ah, so I don't know, maybe there's pros and cons. You could go faster around a turn with a monster truck and make it than you can with the big rig, but it's harder to do. I think that's fair. Looking back at it now. Let me know what you guys think about that. The whole monster truck steering versus big rig steering debate I've been having with myself here. What are your guys' thoughts on that? Drop some comments down there. I'll happily reply. Okay, so we're halfway through. 38 seconds. We're still getting fours. Yeah, four seconds. So... I was a little worried I was going to fall off of that right there. <laughs> Man, we're still getting fours and we're in the 30s? Wow, we're pretty forgiving on this. I was expecting to be in the threes by now. Wow, I got a weird hop there. But that's what I was saying. Like, sometimes you just get some weird stuff to happen. There we go, we started in the three second ones. But you just get some weird stuff to happen with the, the uh, monster trucks. Okay. Uh, yeah, time is whittling away on us here. That van did not help us at all. We're going to lose some time on this one. Okay. I think we're going to beat it. Unless these last couple of checkpoints are really, really far from each other. Because now we're down in a two second range. Guess guy, you're losing time. 100%. There's no way you make that in two seconds. Now we're down to ones. There it is. 23 seconds. We, we made that with a decent margin. Okay. Man, I hope this last one in the water zone is a hard one. Otherwise, this is going to be a really short video, isn't it? <laughs> oh, no, it's, it should be okay. So, the mud plugger on Beach Comer. What was the name of the ticket? The pig sticker. <laughs> I'm glad I looked at that. Okay, I'm gonna go choose a mud plugger. All right, I'm gonna use the Atlas pacifier with this very metallic looking riveted paint. I think it'll fit really well on the track. <laughs> Honestly, that's why I'm going with it. Okay. Yeah, look at that. It, it's like, it fits perfectly with the theme. It, it's got the lady painted on the side and all the like military stencil numbers. Oh yeah, it fits perfectly here in military base. Is this all mud pluggers? Can't quite see far enough from in front of me. I can't remember if that's a mud plugger or a racing truck right there. That's oh, a racing truck, based off the sound. So it's all mid-weight vehicles. Good to know. Oh, I landed on somebody. Sorry. There's a speed bump back there. Ooh, no. And by the way, that thing right there on the right, the yellow thing, that's now on my... Oh, now it's to the right again. The yellow thing right there next to me. That is, in fact, a racing truck, not a mud plugger. People get that confused a lot. People also think it's a rally car sometimes, apparently. <laughs> so yes, it is in fact a racing truck. Oh, there it goes. Decided to take on that tower and lost. Okay. This is a three lap race. It's good. Give me time to catch these guys. Give other people time to fail. Oh man, I really just did that guy dirty right there. <laughs> yeah, hit that for me. Make it may allow me to take the faster out. 
See if I can stick it. Oh, not quite. I got a little bit more slide than I was hoping for. I'll hit that uh, other route over there on the left on the last lap. But first I gotta catch this Bastille here. Which I think I'll be able to do with the shortcut here. This wee little one. If you get that turn right, you can catch him at least. Oh, he went underneath me right there. That was cool. Might have just got him. Oh, he's still there. Okay. And I gotta catch this guy. Can I get through there? Oh, wow, that's a really close fit, but you can. Okay, rubber banding should be turning off pretty soon. Okay, he took the slightly slower route. If I nail this, which that was really close to not nailing it, but... Okay, let's show this. Right here, at this angle. There you go, see how well you stick? Yeah. That's what you want. Also, I totally missed that ramp for that other route over there. So we're not going to be able to do that. Unless I screw up, we have to redo the race. <laughs> what you know might happen here. This is actually really inefficient to use the boost. We're in that. Oh, I couldn't see the rock. My bad. I was going to slip right through there, but I was busy trying to figure out the turn. What did I just die to? There's nothing there. Okay. I think I there must be just a slight steep slope right there that I caught. You know that or it counted that rock as hitting my entire bumper, even though I just barely nicked it. But I'm scooting right now. And this guy in front of me is gonna ruin my day here. Luckily I got him out of the way, but I'm gonna get past on the inside. I'm gonna go around that. Yeah. I figured this would happen. So, lucky you guys. <laughs> the video is not going to be too short. And we get to do it again. For the record, and uh, I know some people out there will probably think this eventually. I did not throw that race to make the video longer. I was generally trying the best I could, but I hate the idea of throwing stuff. I don't get it. Like, if the video is short, whatever. It just shows that it was too easy. So, but you know, I, I do like providing content to you guys, obviously, I do it a lot, but, you know, I won't change the content just to make it be a video, I don't see a point of that, I'd rather it be real to what it is, you know. I think it's more entertaining that way, personally if it's true and real instead of being like a production. Uh oh, got a weird flip. That uh, that spot of the track right there is known to do that with multiple different vehicle classes. Like everything from ATVs to monster trucks because spikes typically don't flip. But everything else it can just tip you over for no reason right there when you touch that rock. Just due to how sharp the turn is and how much grip you can get on it. And that rock is just perfectly shaped on the inside to give your vehicle a little tip. So if you clip it, it's just, it's always bad news. Okay, let's take a different route. I'm tired of taking the same one every time. Let's go up top this time, like this. And you can see why I don't like this route, though. It's slow, comparatively. Cause when you can just go across the bridge, it's way faster. It lines you up pretty well if you do that. From just right there, and then you can scoot down the hill, pass a bunch of people. You can see how much quicker that is. Just by seeing the, how slow the AI were going off the bump. When I hit the ground, I passed like three or four of them. That's why I do that, specifically. Uh, I'm gonna fall off here. I tried to do a ram because I didn't want to tip all the way over like that. Didn't make it. But we'll go back up right here. 
for kicks and giggles. I might end up redoing this race again for it, but. If I remember right, there's this weird turn right here that I always hate. Yeah, like right here. It's just such an awkward turn. Because it puts you into this jump. It's like the slowest way you can get through there. Yet somehow, if you do it, it still ends up about the same as the others. And that just never makes sense to me. It feels so slow. All right, we're gonna have to actually speed run this last lap here and make sure I can secure this win. Well, that's not exactly speed run quality material. <laughs> Luckily, I got the good response, which should be fine. I'm out too far. Ooh, no, that was about perfect. Thought I was out a little bit far. I got a weird bounce. I got a, two weird bounces. I think the same thing is going to happen to me this this race that happened to me last race, if I'm not careful here. So I'm going to let that guy go so that I can use my boost in a straight line. Much more efficient. You can use the momentum to throw yourself up that. Toss yourself here. That guy will go underneath. And we can just fly. I don't want to go that way. I thought about it and advised against it because I don't want to go to the outside this lap. I want to do this. That way this guy can't cheese a win by the inside route like I'm trying to. Got a nice ram and we're golden. <laughs> Perfect. Weeman Jones was chasing us down though. There you have it. Alrighty then. Unless there's something special here, which there is. I got the Eliminator ticket. Look that up next time. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Total Dude. Peace out.